Hello and welcome to Scalable Scripts. Today we're going to be talking about Nest.js and probably the first question will be with so many outstanding frameworks available out there why would you go for something new and different? Or the better question why would you choose Nest.js over the widely used well-known and usual frameworks you're quite used to? Well, I know just the right answer to this question. Perhaps you want the development process to complete quickly and efficiently by using the boilerplates and controllers. Maybe you want to build scalable and easy-to-maintain apps, or you just want to choose a convenient and effective framework to work with. In either way, it turns out that Nest.js might fulfill all these needs. And in today's video, we're going to be talk first what is Nest.js, why to choose Nest.js over other Node.js frameworks, and also we're going to mention some disadvantages of Nest.js. Let's start with the first. What is Nest.js? Nest.js is a progressive Node.js framework for building efficient, scalable and enterprise-grade server-side applications on top of TypeScript and JavaScript. Some magnificent properties of Nest.js are extensibility, the flexibility to use other libraries, versatility, adaptive ecosystem that is fully fledged for all types of server-side applications. Progressiveness brings JavaScript features and design patterns into the Node community. Nest.js is very similar to AngularJS in many ways. It will not seem strange for those who've worked on Angular before. Like Angular, Nest.js comes with its own dependency injection container, a utility seems forgotten in other frameworks. The architecture and syntax also match with that of Angular. And now let's answer the question on why to choose Nest.js over other Node.js frameworks. The first thing I want to mention is Nest being a highly opinionated framework. First, let's discuss the difference between highly opinionated and unopinionated frameworks. Unopinionated frameworks highly trust the developers to make the right choice. It allows developers to choose whatever tools or technologies, middleware hooks they want to use. Developers structure their code without any specific structure that is forced by the framework. But making a choice for a team is always difficult. If you have two other developers in your team, they might have another structure in mind. And that's where the mess starts. Even within one big project, different microservice teams, project structure and tooling becomes different. One cannot just jump from one microservice team to another due to this. Unopinionated frameworks allow developers to code anything, anywhere. Nest is a highly opinionated framework. It follows the design paradigm convention over configuration. It strongly guides developers to use certain tools and to code in a certain way. Behind the scene, it already wraps the controller with a try-catch block, already parses the request body, adds error handler, middleware logger, etc. So you do not need to do these common things every time while scaffolding a new project. Developers have to write the controller, service, repositories in certain places in a certain way. So anyone familiar working on Nest can jump into a project without spending much time on how code is being organized or which tools are being used. Unless you are a developer who is super creative in writing messy code. Code in a Nest project should be much more maintainable than in an unopinionated project. There are also many reasons that make Nest.js preferable over other Node.js frameworks. Some of them are compatibility with TypeScript. As a TypeScript-based web framework, strict type definition is possible. Nest.js uses the latest version of TypeScript, which helps ensure that it will remain relevant in the rapidly changing JavaScript landscape and gives developers less context switching. The transition from Angular code to Nest is relatively easy. It has a framework adaptive nature. Components get their own folders with an application module and main file residing in the root. This simple structure allows more attention to be paid to the design of endpoints and their consumers, instead of application structure. Domain-driven development. Nest provides a way to define multiple modules under the one root module. Modules encapsulate providers, controllers, repositories, interceptors, middlewares, etc. With this, we can logically distribute the entire project's code into logical domains. Unless a provider or service is defined within the same module, it cannot be injected into a controller or service class. If we have to use a service from another module, that service needs to be exported and that module needs to be included in this module. Through this, we can create domain-wise clear boundaries, write reusable modules and write loosely coupled and maintainable code. Nest.js also supports monorepo, Nest is made for monoliths and microservices. It has DevOps support ready, 
Some other reasons would be dependency injection container, easy database interaction, building GraphQL interfaces easily, testing. Nestle AI generated application starter comes with a default testing environment configured with Jest framework. It provides auto-generated testing code, so developers don't have to write the scaffolding code needed for the unit test. So writing unit testing becomes much easier with Nest.js. Built-in exception filter and built-in inversion of control. And also use of decorators, custom decorators. In Nest, you can bind the controller to routes, set request method, inject request body or parse params, control out role guards beautifully with decorators. Whether an input attribute is required, whether to check email or whether to serialize an attribute into JSON or not, everything can be controlled with decorators. Use of third-party modules. Because Nest.js is a module-based framework, it's easy to externalize general-purpose modules and reuse code in multiple projects. Some other reasons to use Nest.js would be It has a powerful CLI. Nest has a decent command line tool available through Node Package Manager. The command line tool will let you scaffold the project, generate Nest architecture components, and display project information. As I previously mentioned, Nest.js has an Angular-like architecture. A major reason for the growing Node.js popularity is using the same language in both backend and frontend. The only benefit we have been getting so far is the same syntax. Coding architecture, philosophy terms, everything has been completely different. Some other reasons to use Nest.js would be built-in inversion of control. And now let's mention some of the disadvantages for not to use Nest.js in your project. The largest risk facing Nest users is the lack of documentation. The framework has great integrations with other frameworks, but the documentation is minimal and doesn't cover any issues that may arise. Nest does hold an edge in its use of TypeScript and relation to Angular, but it doesn't have the backing power of a large enterprise behind it. Overall, Nest has a smaller community compared to other frameworks. Thank you for watching our video regarding Nest.js. If you want to watch more videos on our YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe. And also, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment in the comment section below. See you in the next video.